Hey guys, uh, it's Marianne here from Thrive Admin Services. In this video, I'm actually just doing a very high level and probably quite fast introduction to conditional logic or branching in Microsoft Forms. And I wanted to do this instead of doing a whole form introduction or a whole form walkthrough, because I know that these sorts of things are the things that stop you from having a go at some of these apps because you think that they're really complicated or you might think that it's an additional function or additional feature that you have to pay for. I know in things like SurveyMonkey and JotForm and Typeform and some of those things, conditional logic is a, is a paid feature and you have to upgrade your plan or you have to upgrade your service. Um, and it's not the case with Microsoft. So if you are using a form, you have all of the functions and features available to you um, within your subscription. So this video shows you how I use conditional logic to give um, different alternative uh, solutions in a form for someone who's um, putting an inquiry form in through with me. So this is a real life example using a form I actually use for Thrive. And I hope that it shows you um, or gives you a better idea of what's possible and that you can start playing with forms as well. So let's get started. Okay, so from office.com, we're going to head to forms via the app launcher up at the top here. I have it here with all my apps. If you don't, you can open up all apps and it's in alphabetical order and we head to forms. Now here in forms, I'm going to be just working with the custom formatting support. I'm going to show you um, how I use conditional branching or conditional logic in my form. So I've got a range of questions here, but what I wanted to show you was how I use conditional logic to um, steer the user of the form into a different ending. It's a bit like a choose your own adventure. So what I have is that I have two sections where I use conditional logic, but I'm going to show you this one because this is the clearest one. So I have a question at the end where I give people the chance to either um, upload content to me, book a call with me, or they're not going to upload anything, but they definitely want me to go ahead and, and use the information they've already provided. So there are three different endings. So when I'm here, pardon me, in the form and I'm looking at this one. If I click on it in my preview, you can see this is it as, a, as an option. The three dots at the bottom here, it gives me add branching. On any question, if I click this, it will then open the branching menu and it then opens the branching menu for everything. Um, but I'm gonna just show you how it works for this particular question. So for every question um, in the branching menu, if you don't, add anything particular to redirect things, the people will just move from one question to the next. So you can see it says go to next. Here with question 12, what I've got are the three different options. And so what I'm looking for is for people to be able to be directed and not see information that is not relevant to them and only see where I specifically want to send it to you. Okay, send them to. So um, if they choose the first option, so the first thing you need to know is that you need to have all of the content written. So I have them as different sections at the end. So you need to actually have the content first. So you go back and do your branching at the end. Um, but what I've got here is when they select question 12, if they select yes, give me the link, they'll move to the next section along. So that's nice and easy. Once they do this one, I've got a drop down option and I've got every section that I want them to move to, and I've got every question in the current section that they can move to. So I can move them to, if I wanted to move them here, I can send them up to section one. I can send them to, so this one, we're gonna have a chat, so that one sends them to section five. So if someone clicks that, and then they hit the next button for the end of this section, they will go, so the first option will take them to this option. The second option will take them to this section, which actually is saying, not a problem, all good, let's book a chat. And then that's the end of their form. Alternatively, if they choose, nope, that's good, I'm ready to go, it goes hooray. So I've got one here that's called hooray, which is section four. And this one, there are no more links, there's no more information, oh, there's more information, but there's no more steps to do, um, and we submit, okay? So I'm gonna show you that in action so that you can actually see it. So if I go back here and I go preview, so it opens for me in the preview form. So I'm gonna do it as a test and I'll show you all the different options. So if I uh, pop my name in and my business, 
and all of these are the little red asterisks obviously are required so this is where it takes me a little bit longer I'm just going to literally fill these in so there's something to put in so this is one where I have conditional logic but it is all so you can see if I choose this one this one this one this one or this one we scroll into these other projects and if I choose this one I take it that takes them away they don't get those options they move to a new section um, so that I can show you these other ends I'm just going to pop test in here again I have some conditional logic here if we choose yes they put a date in if I choose no obviously they don't have to fill that in um, so this is the one that we were just looking at so um, this one's the question this one is required so if I do this one yes please give me the link we go next you can see this is the one and it tells me this is how you can upload things here's some more information okay um, so now if I scroll back down and I say no actually I'd just like to have a chat with you and we go next you can see this is a different this is a different section so I've bypassed the other one and we've moved to this one and then it says great you can go here and you can submit your form okay likewise if I go back down to the bottom and we go to this last option and next you can see this is it the no links there's nothing else here there's just a bit of a bit of a summary about what's going to happen next and we hit submit okay so when I get the results or the the response it will just show me exactly what they've chosen so conditional logic is a really handy tool and it's really easy to use here um, and I hope that this is really helpful for you Now, I know that that skimmed over a whole load of stuff in terms of creating forms and setting them up and all the different types of questions, but I really wanted to show you that a lot of the advanced features that you would normally pay for with some of the other platforms are all inclusive and that it gives you um, a chance to start thinking about ways that instead of having maybe three or four different forms for each very specific path, that you can have one form that gives people those options to branch and it's a bit like a choose your own adventure. Um, so it just, sometimes it's easy to have one big form that has lots of different options um, so that you can get all the data in one place instead of nine different forms or nine different spots. My final tips for you in relation to working with forms, particularly in relation to conditional logic or branching, pop in all of your questions and all of your possible solutions first and then go back and map the path for each one sometimes having spoken from experience sometimes it is easier to create separate forms first or get out a whiteboard or a big piece of paper and actually map all of the different options so that you know what you're trying to create don't overcomplicate it. Start with something simple. Start with something where at the end of the day, if someone chooses yes to a question, they would go um, into this section with a whole set of questions. And if they chose no, it would take them there. Um, because if you start with something simple, you will then start to see all of your other um, pathways that you can branch. But as with everything, have a play, see what you think, if you have any questions about working with logic, uh, conditional logic or branching in forms, there are loads of ways that you can um, get in touch with me to see how we can help. You can check out Microsoft Dynamos. You can um, become a member of Thriving with 365. You can get in touch with me directly at thriveadmin.com um, or you can find me hanging out on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, and you can send me a direct message there anytime. Just search for Thrive Admin Services. I hope this has been really helpful for you. And as I say, as I always say, have a play, see what you can do um, until you share that with anybody else. No one knows it exists. So have a play, test, um, feel free to send, send it to some of your biz buddies or, um, or get in touch with me and I'll do a test for you so that you can see what's possible and you can start working smarter with your Microsoft 365 subscription. Have an awesome day.